Well, clearly what we have here is a failure to communicate, but resolved with a simple solution. This is a 2003 Subaru Outback 2.5, naturally aspirated, and I put a turbo on it. <clears throat> anyway, it's an NA to turbo conversion, and basically I slapped a TDO4 on there, a couple other things, bigger fuel pump, etc. Um, and upon hitting boost, I, I used, I stuck with my uh, stock ECU, and upon hitting boost, the car would act like a finicky, little, over-emotional teenage girl, and it would go into limp mode. So the at oil template would start flashing, and uh, basically it would stutter, and, and, and I'd have to let off the throttle to, you know, get it to stop, and then eventually shut off the car to get the uh, oil temperature light to quit flashing. I'm pretty sure that was limp mode. <clears throat> anyway, I eventually figured out that it is from the map sensor. Now, the map sensor on this gives, it's only used to seeing vacuum at various at outputs and uh, atmospheric pressure. No positive pressure, I'm pretty sure. It, they might account for like a pound because you're, you know, cars under sea level or whatever that is. Anyway, it gives out a voltage from 0 to 5 volts to the ECU, I believe, which tells the ECU, you know, how much pressure is in the manifold. Um, the more vacuum, the less the throttle is open, from what I've read. <sighs> anyway, what... Now, my first solution that I thought of was I will get a turbo mat sensor, but that, that won't work. Not with my ECU, not with my stock ECU. And I cannot reflash this ECU because it's an 03, and it needs to be at least an 05 from what I've read. Anyway, a simple solution to this complex problem is to hack into the signal wire and limit its output. The signal wire is the middle wire of these three. The one all the way to the right is the ground. The middle one is the signal, which gives that voltage rating back to the ECU. And the one all the way to the left is the five volt supply, which supplies the map sensor with five volts continuous all the time. <clears throat> anyway, what I've done is I've interrupted, or I hacked in with a Zener diode, so anything above 4.7, this is a 5.1 volt um, Zener diode, so anything above that voltage rating gets, it, the Zener diode shorts it to ground, so it cannot, basically the reading cannot go above 5 volts back to the ECU, which I need, therefore everything's good and dandy and it works. Now, I read to use a 5.1 volt center diode because, sorry about my camera here, I'm using a phone camera, because there's voltage drop on the diode, um, at idle, atmospheric temperature, or atmospheric pressure, I just turned the key on and I tested the voltage to the map sensor without any vacuum, and it was 4.2, so theoretically, you would need you know something around 4.7 or but that doesn't work I guess because there is voltage drop with these guys so I bought a big package this was eight bucks on Amazon and it has all these center diodes in it so I figured you know if one value doesn't work I can just keep trying the other ones the 5.1 was the first one I tried and that's worked beautifully now I've hit I, haven't, I don't have my boost turned way up, but I've hit like five or six pounds boost, and the car is fine. My AFRs are fine, too. <clears throat> anyway, so that's one method. Basically, what you want to do is order a Zener diode. Uh, 5.1 volts works for this car. I don't know if it will work for yours. And you want the cathode end. I believe the one with the, the black stripe is the cathode end. You want that on the signal wire side and then you want the other end the anode end I'm probably getting this backwards I don't know to as far as my my definitions to the the ground wire side so the stripe is to your signal wire side 
see that little black stripe there at the end of the diode and the other direction the, the solid red side is to the ground and this bleeds off extra voltage regulated by the map sensor into the ground it dissipates into the into the chassis or whatever through the ground wire now this you don't have to do it's the ECU already has fuses I'm sure I don't know where they are I don't know how they work so I just put in my own fusible link here just in case I shorted it out or something happened something melts I don't know you don't have to do that but I, I'm just on the safe side there I was in an overkill mode today anyway yeah your middle wire is your signal the one to the far right is your ground so you want to you want to put the diode between your signal and your ground wire now there's other methods to do this if you can't find your Zenar diode oh by the way these are one watt rated to I don't think it matters the watt rating I would say you know maybe the bigger the better but I'm not sure don't quote me on that I'm not a professional at this I'm not a professional mechanic here's your other thing you can put vacuum check valves from a fish and aquarium store in don't put them in line like don't put say this side is your manifold and that side is connected to your map sensor don't have the check valve completely between them you need to have the check valve teed off so hypothetically your map sensor would be on this side where this end is here and this end would be connected to your manifold that way when positive pressure goes through your manifold it's kind of bled off by these check valves now people have put a bunch of them in one I was running two of them and it kind of worked uh, up to like two or three pounds of boost you know to where before any positive pressure would send it into limp mode but I ended up ultimately going this route and you know there's other companies that sell these kits are ready for it uh, that you just wire in for your specific car but this is the cheap way uh, all together it cost me eight bucks and you know the other alternative is the uh, the check valves if you need them I hope this was interesting or at least enlightening you know like I said I'm not a professional this shit just works for me when I wing it what do they say a broken clocks right twice a day Sometimes the blind pig finds a truffle. So I'm just kind of, you know, learning it as I go and hopefully not blowing up my car. My car was 800 bucks, so I'm really not that concerned, you know, uh, as far as uh, financial loss. But hopefully you found this enlightening. Hopefully it helps somebody else.